Everyone always tells you to work smarter, not harder. But no one actually ever seems to explain what that means when it comes to content creation. How can you actually make video faster to feed the content machine without getting burned out? One quick and easy way to scale your video production is to use this simple model, where you take one long form video and create nine social media clips super quickly from that video to post on every social media. Repurposing existing video content is one of the best ways to create more video without causing yourself a ton of extra work. This practice is great for YouTube videos, webinars, interviews, you name it. And all you have to do is have a video with three clippable moments. These should be short snippets that are entertaining, shocking, informative, and that can still be valuable even without watching the entire long form video. To accomplish this repurposing of your long form video, we are going to be using an online video editor called Kapwing because it's super easy using Kapwing to edit one long form into different short form videos. So just click the first link in the description and we'll get started. All right, you guys, so the first thing you're gonna do is click the first link in the description. It'll take you to Kapwing and you can just sign in and then you can create a new project here. Okay, so here is the studio editor. Now you are able to either paste in a link if you have a video on YouTube or online that you want to be the source file, or you can just drag in any files you have. I'm gonna take the link from this three AI tools that make you money that I made, because I'll be able to easily create three clips from those three tools, and I'll paste in the link. Okay, so now you can see that the video has populated, and now all I have to do is identify a part of the video that I want to cut into a clip. So I can see here that this is one of the tools. I've separated them with titles, so that makes it super easy. So what I'm gonna wanna do is just split this here using the split button or the S button on the keyboard and delete everything else that's now unnecessary. Now I can bring this down to the start of the timeline and I see that this is two minutes and 30 seconds. So I need to cut around a minute. So I will just cut this area here. You can see that there is a lot of my face talking. So this I think is a lot of the outro of the video. So now I have a video that's 60 seconds. So now I just have to turn it into a clip. So to do that, all I'm gonna do is click off of the clip so if you are highlighting it you'll see all these different options we don't want any of these we actually want canvas options so you're going to click off of the clip just onto um, a blank portion of the timeline then click the resize canvas button in the top right and you're going to want to change it to 9 by 16 because all these short form platforms are 9 by 16. Now you have the option here if you want to fit to the center, which will mean it'll keep the same aspect ratio as the original video and just sort of have a background either with a canvas blur, which you can see here, it's sort of blurred in the background, or you can just use a background color instead, like so. Or you can choose to fill and crop, which will take up the entire short form screen. I'm going to use the fit to center option um, and then just fill and crop as needed manually. So for instance, because this title screen needs to fit inside of this video, I can leave that as is. But then this portion of me speaking, I can definitely fill to the entire canvas. So how I'll do that is I will just split at the scene change. Okay, so there's another scene change here. So I'll just click the split button again. And then I'll go back and highlight this clip. And then I can just drag the edges to be the entire screen. That looks pretty good to me. If it ends up not being centered or something, you might just want to go into the clip and then click the crop button and you can manually adjust the crop and the centering, etc. And I can go ahead and do that again. Awesome, this looks great to me. So once everything's cut into place and resized, then what I'm going to do is click off of any clips again to reach this canvas menu. And then I'm going to put on safe zones. Safe zones will tell you everywhere that will be blocked by short form platforms. You can do them specifically. So if I'm just using this one for TikTok, I can use the TikTok button, YouTube shorts, or Instagram. I generally use the all button because you'll now be taking this one clip and be posting them on every different social platform. And I don't wanna have to make individual ones for each platform. So I usually put on the all button. This will help make sure that any of your text on screen is seen by everyone. So if I want to subtitle a video, which you probably will want to do, given that it's for short form and short form videos, you really want to caption because it keeps people engaged. And a lot of people are watching short form with no audio on. You can just go to the subtitles and then click generate subtitles. And now you can see my subtitles can live right here, which is within the safe zone. 
so that they don't get cut off by the caption or any of the button overlays. So you can just go through and make any changes. It's a super simple auto subtitler. So you can go ahead and edit this if you have any edits. You can also add things like animations to your subtitles. So you can add a little color when the words are spoken to make it a little more engaging. But when you're done, you can just go ahead and export your project. And then here you'll have your video. And once it's done processing, you can just click the download file button in the top right. And now you can post this video on Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, and TikTok. So that's three videos right there. You're just gonna wanna repeat this process two more times with other parts of your video. All right, you guys, now you should have 10 pieces of content from that one long form video. I really hope this was helpful and I hope that this keeps you in the algorithm's good graces. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up with other tips and tricks like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.